Steve Burton, he will be back soon, fans are waiting for him. Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a like up. In November 2021, General Hospital suffered a major casting loss. Fan favorite actor Steve Burton was ousted from the soap when he failed to comply with the COVID norms. ABC had mandated that all cast and crew needed to be fully vaccinated to be working on the sets. However, for reasons best known to the star, Steve chose not to get vaccinated. Consequently, he was dropped from the cast, leading to his character, Jason Morgan, facing death. However, recent shocking developments might lead to a much enjoyable return. The latest news is that Disney has decided to drop all of the COVID mandates they had set in place for its U.S. productions. The reports further state that while Disney has let go off the company-wide mandates, the productions can still choose to uphold them if they wish. In light of the update, 12 major productions have already dropped the mandates. These include Grey's Anatomy and Station 19. Interestingly, both these shows shoot in the same studio as General Hospital. Does that mean General Hospital 2 could drop these mandates? Well, if they do choose to do so, it would reopen doors for the return of all the cast and crew that left due to non-compliance of these mandates, including our loved Steve Burton. Jason Morgan was as essential and beloved to fans as he was to Sonny and Carly. And the only reason his character was killed off at General Hospital was that Steve had to leave. Moreover, the only reason Steve was made to leave was because of not being vaccinated against COVID. There never was any friction between the star and the soap production. So if General Hospital's production decides to drop the COVID mandate, it would leave the door wide open for Steve's return to the soap. Back in the day, when Steve and General Hospital had parted ways, the star had posted a video on his Instagram to address the issue. He shared that he had applied to be exempted from the vaccine mandate on medical and religious grounds. However, they were not approved by the production. Consequently, Steve was let go from his role as Jason. The star in his video shared, albeit hurt by getting fired, he still was grateful for his time on the soap. Furthermore, Steve stated that if the mandates were ever lifted, he would love to reprise his role as Jason Morgan. Well, it looks like the opportunity is about to present itself. Moreover, this is the perfect time for Jason to resurface on General Hospital. Sonny is facing a hard time with Michael and Dex the Mole. He could surely use a friend who better than his best man, Jason. On the other hand, Carly too is realizing that her relationship with Drew might not work. Ex-hubby, Steve, will be a great shoulder to cry on should he return. Considering that after the blast on the bridge, Steve was presumed dead, his body was never found. And we all know it's an unwritten rule on soaps, no body means no death. We just saw Esme return, right? If you ask us, we are all in for this return. We love Steve Burden, and we love Jason Morgan. Moreover, Carly might be single all over again, and their marriage really never got a chance. Maybe round two is on the cards? What say you? Do you want to see Steve back on General Hospital? Please share your views with us in the comments. General Hospital alum Steve Burton sells How is Post-Divorce with Cherie? Divorce Proceedings Gets Ugly. Earlier in May 2023, General Hospital alum Steve Burton announced his split with wife, Sherry. The couple who had been married for over two decades called it quits and eventually filed for a divorce. Steve released a statement on his Instagram account saying he and Sherry have parted ways. He clarified in his statement that Sherry recently announced her fourth pregnancy, but the child is not his. However, he did add that he and Sherry will continue to co-parent their three children. He further requested privacy in dealing with his internal family matters. According to reports obtained by TMZ, Steve listed the date of their official separation as March 1, 2022. 
While citing irreconcilable differences as the reason behind the divorce, the couple had first met on the sets of the popular ABC Daily Soap General Hospital. Steve and Cheney then went on to tie the knot in 1999. The couple is parents to two lovely daughters, Makina and Brooklyn, and a son, Jack. It's unfortunate that a beautiful beginning is meeting such a sad ending. While a marriage ending is already a devastating time, divorce proceedings make then all the more harder. Moreover, in cases where prenups are not set in place, things tend to get dirtier. In October 2023, news started doing rounds that Steve and Sherry never signed a prenuptial agreement. In fact, even after marriage, the General Hospital alum and his wife never really set any terms to follow should there comes a time when they plan to separate. The latest development in Steve and Sherry's divorce drama is that the couple have sold their family home. According to a report by RadarOnline.com, the three-bedroom, four-bath condo spanning at 1,827, theft in Corona Del Mar has been sold for $3.2 million. Reportedly, Steve requests possession of all things acquired by them during their marriage and after separation. Since there is no prenup defining the terms, both the parties will try their best to obtain whatever possessions they can at best. Additionally, the General Hospital star also demands joint custody of his children with Sherry. Steve also requests relief from paying spousal support. We hope the couple is able to settle the terms peacefully and fairly between themselves. An ugly fight would not only affect them, but also leave their children traumatized. On the work front, after bidding goodbye to General Hospital, actor Steve Burton has been seen on Days of Our Lives. Beyond Salem, a spin-off of Days of Our Lives that streamed on Peacock.